We showed you in February how to create multi-field quick lists that save and fill out more than one field at a time. Today we'll go in the reverse direction and create partial field quick lists. Both save you time and make filling out the forms easier. They can also help keep the terminology and phrasing you use more consistent from one report to the next. More than one quick list can be used in a multi-line field. By default, when you use a quick list in a multi-line field, you aren't taken to the next field, like you are in a single line field. This allows you to use various combinations of full sentences or even incomplete phrases. Take the neighborhood boundaries field, for instance. In this example, I'll create a commonly used partial phrase of the neighborhood is bounded on the north by. Then I'll clear the field and create another one for the phrase and on the east by. And then another one for and on the south by. And a fourth one for the west as well. At this point, you can probably see where I'm going with this. The next time I want to fill out the neighborhood boundaries field, I'll use Alt-1 and type the name of the street, Alt-2, type the name of the street, and do the same thing for Alt-3 and Alt-4. Notice that using the hotkeys for this is especially time-saving, as I don't have to grab the mouse several times and can stay right at the keyboard. You'll find partial field quick lists especially helpful in the addendum, which is treated by quick lists as one big multi-line field. You can save partial phrases or even entire paragraphs. Remember that you can hover over a quick list in the side panel to see what text it contains. As you can see, quick lists are very powerful and when used fully can save you an immense amount of retyping data that you use over and over again.